Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site, also digitalassetlife.com, a free site. Let's talk crypto, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, 2021. Now, as many of you know, I am very bullish, extremely bullish on cryptocurrency, right? I believe the best of breed is Bitcoin. I believe there's Bitcoin and then there's everything else. But DeFi is also changing our way of life. But I need for people to see the entire picture. Understand the time to get a hedge is when you don't need one. Now, if you wake up one morning and you go online and you see that a quantum computer someplace, right, a quantum computer someplace has unraveled, deconstructed, upset a major cryptocurrency, right? Worst case, Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, of course, has the hashing power others don't have, right? Bitcoin has the track record others don't have. Just imagine you were to find out that a quantum computer, either backed by one of these major tech firms or by a sovereign nation who is tired of cryptocurrency competing with their favored central bank issued digital currency. The minute you hear that a major crypto has been unraveled by a quantum computer, folks, it's over. It's over. I'm talking about billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars vanishing overnight. I'm talking about trust completely gone from the system. You believe in Bitcoin because Bitcoin has never been broken. You understand that quantum computing is growing by leaps and bounds. The minute there is a way to corrupt and unravel a cryptocurrency using a quantum computer, the value of your crypto holdings will be next to nothing. Who's going to buy in that situation? You already have nefarious hackers out there hacking blockchains. Could you imagine if some group of hackers figured out how to use a quantum computer to do so? So you have to ask yourself, in that world where digital currency no longer has credibility, just like fiat currency today has diminishing credibility. What's going to be boss? What's going to continue to have credibility? What's going to be the preferred means of exchange? The preferred store of value in that world? And the answer is a simple one, folks. And it's underpriced today. In fact, it's down today. That answer is gold. What I want people to understand is, look, we can try to go unhedged and we can try to say that Bitcoin is superior to gold and we could list the reasons why. We could talk about carrying bars of gold across borders. We could talk about the storage costs of gold, silver, precious metals in general. But the bottom line is that if anything goes wrong with cryptocurrencies, encryption, if that encryption can get obviated, can get destroyed by a quantum computer, then you need a store of value 
in a world where you can't trust crypto. So I talk with people about gold, everyone laughs. Only the old timers seem to get it, right? My point to you is if you're serious about crypto, like I am, if you have a decent amount in crypto, the best insurance you can get, other than, of course, protecting your keys, the best insurance you can get is with gold and silver. Preferably, you don't want to trust anyone. You want to have gold coins and gold bars. You want to have silver coins, preferably American Eagles, because silver you're actually going to use for commerce, right? If the world collapses, you want to be able to go buy groceries. And you want to be able to give a coin that has credibility with the merchant. Now, while I love Canadian maple leaves, they just tend to be a little bit cheaper than um, silver eagles. The bottom line is, if you're in the United States, the vendor is going to trust the coin that has the backing of the U.S. Mint. Right? I understand. Silver American Eagle sell for a little bit more than coins made of an equal weight of silver that aren't backed by the U.S. Mint. But I believe the premium is well worth it. Because again, if you can't trust fiat, and I don't believe you can, if you can't trust crypto because of a quantum computing hack. Not a smart contract hack, but a quantum computing hack. Then to me, the premium is going to be well worth it to be able to give the vendor something where the vendor can look on the coin and say, oh, this is a silver American eagle. I can trust the 99.999% purity here. Right? I know how this coin was minted. That vendor doesn't have that comfort level with some cheaper coin that's off-brand. Now, you can get those coins, right? Possession trumps everything. You can get those coins on sites like sdbullion.com. But understand, you're going to be paying a premium over spot. If you're like me and you just like the idea of having your coin stored possibly outside the country. In other words, the world collapses. I'm prepared to deal with the risk of having to go get my silver stored outside of the United States. Then what I hope people do is they consider, and I'm not a paid spokesman. I'm just a customer who has bought coins from different outlets. I hope people consider Volturo.com, right? You, if you have Dash, if you have Bitcoin, you can actually convert some Dash and Bitcoin into gold at Volturo.com. Another site I recommend is OneGold.com, right? Eric Sprott is a billionaire. He is one of the names you need to know in the gold space. A site that he has that allows you to buy gold and silver and to store it offshore is called OneGold.com. And you can do so for gold at less than 1% over spot and for silver at only 2% over spot. Right? And of course, you can cash out anytime you want online. I'm encouraging people to give that a look. Now, I say this at a time where, let's face it, some crypto has been on fire. Before the summer, I talked about this being a summer of Solana and Cardano. Both have delivered. I know a skeptic will look at 
the returns that they're getting off cryptos like Solana and Cardano. And they'll say, why do I want to deal with gold? Gold's been flat. Right? Gold hasn't gone anywhere. Well, folks, understand you need gold as well as the others, but you need gold so that you're hedged. And the time to buy gold is not when it's overpriced. It's during times like this when it's underpriced. Right? So I do hope people understand that the crypto world is new. Maybe quantum computers that never catch up to crypto. Maybe Bitcoin and others find a way to become quantum resistant. Okay, great. That's fine. I'm not going to risk my entire livelihood, my entire nest egg on that speculation. Gold's been around for centuries. Buying gold when it's cheap, let's just say I've heard of worse ideas. I believe that's prudent fiscal management. Right, Having gold while you have Bitcoin so that if Bitcoin goes down, you can't get to your Bitcoin, something has happened and suddenly you don't have access to your Bitcoin you know, it's reassuring to know that you have a few gold coins in your safe or in your special secret location or that you have some silver coins in your pocket that you can then barter, that you know haven't lost value because of a cryptocurrency hack. In fact, were crypto to get hacked, you could imagine gold and silver would skyrocket exponentially. So I know I sound like an old man here. I know I sound too cautious. Here I am talking about hedging on a day when Bitcoin is around $50,000 a coin, right? Sounds good to me. I'm a hedger. I have no problem buying undervalued gold. I hope you give Volturo.com and OneGold.com a look as well as, of course, sites selling physical gold and silver, like sdbullion.com. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.